All right, let's look at these patch notes. So, mask. 50 health, 50 mana, 500 gold. Obviously, you want Boombas, right, to start off the game. Or does that even do anything? Is Boombas in the game? Oh, no, they have blessings. I'm lit as fuck. Okay, the masks are back. Okay, 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 okay. Boom, boom, pow. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, items. Let me look for these masks. <laughs> All right. Gain damage. Gain pa passive, gain damage, sacrifice blade, minus 30 movement speed, plus 15 ability damage, plus 20 basic. So you get 20 penetration, that's a fuck ton of penetration. You get movement speed, minus 30 movement speed is serious though, I don't know, 20 pen, 50 physical power, 100 magical power, what the titties? 150 physical power, that's a ton of physical power, but you lose, plus 15% ability damage, but Plus twenty percent basic damage though. I don't like the I don't like the sacrifice shit though. I don't like the sacrifice at all. Why why do you have the sacrifice? Why are you buying an item to sacrifice other things? Doesn't make sense to me. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Why I don't you buy items it doesn't matter how good an item is, you why sacrifice other things. The speed loss is nothing though. Thirty movement speed? Is a lot. That's that's more than fucking boots gives you. That's twelve percent more than boots give you. Is that thirty percent? It's thirty units. What the fuck is thirty units? Is thirty flat? It's when they have movement speed as flat. Okay, so flat rate, flat rate from base movement speed. Okay, I guess. I don't like these masks. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Why? Why? Why is there a negative effect on an item? You're buying this. You're farming gold to buy. It doesn't matter. Besides, why is there? Uh, uh, it, it looks terrible. I don't like it. I don't like that you sacrifice. Move it. It, it makes no sense to me. Plus 20% damage taken, 25 physical powers, 60 energy powers, 20% movement, 20% cool, 20% cool now? Plus 50 movement speed, plus 20% damage taken, 25% damage dealt. Dude, 25% damage dealt is a lot. Under health, 50 prots, prots. I mean, yeah, it's the best one because as a guardian, it gives you so much prance. And as a guardian, you don't give a shit about dealing damage. You take Lono's Mask is by far the best one because of what it does. The negative effect, like, all right, so it's for guardians, obviously, and or warriors if you want. And but for guardians, it's really really strong for warriors. I guess it hurts them a little bit to get. What's good, Bouchy? This one plus twenty percent damage taken. I mean, yeah. You, Movement speed. I mean, I guess on Mercury, and it would be insane on characters that one shot either way. But plus twenty percent damage taken. I think they're gonna confuse everybody with the percentages and the flat rates. Like, oh, you take uh, on this mask, it's my, it's flat movement speed taken away. On this one, it's dam percent damage taken. I don't know. I think they're gonna confuse a lot of the player base. People are gonna be like, oh, everybody's gonna be buying like four masks. My bill is going to be boots and three masks. That's the meta. Boots, three masks. So I can be taking, so I have 30% mo less movement speed, 20%. If you buy all the masks, it counters all the other masks. Genius. Oh, you can only buy one mask? Oh my god, this is a terrible change. Alrighty. Yearly rewards, nobody cares about that. Console, nobody cares about that. Time queues, nobody cares about that. All rank modes, nobody cares about that. Rank conquest, this mode has been changed to be solo only. Game is broken. Rank joust, nobody cares. Rank duel, nobody cares more. Joust map, nobody cares. Arena, nobody cares. Clash, nobody cares. Assault, nobody cares. Alright, conquest. A lot of talking. Support bonus XP. My god, I'm gonna. If I, if I, if I get invades my speed, there's no. I'm going to Dota. After two minutes on the game clock, support bonus XB will turn on. This role will give the lowest level player on each team a 25% increase to their shared XP only. Not solo XP. 
only, not solo XP, okay? Normal. Needs to be the two way split yielding 120% experience would yield 60%. The higher the um, I don't know if player. If the lower player on the team is disconnected, the more XP was the second lowest player. Perfect. So when I get it, so I so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna BM the a really shitty player. We're gonna have him DC and then I get more experience. Minion AI minions that have already chosen a target will not change targets unless their current target dies, leaves radius, or enemy gods draws their aggro. That sounds good. That's actually wow. That's like. We should have made that change in 2012. Elder Harpy. Dude, I'm already thinking about the strats, chat. Take your teammate, BM, DCs, more experience, I can carry the game. Because what happens is, I have these Amaterasu do supports that are like, I'm level 13 and you're level 13, what are you doing, jungler? But in reality, they're just running around really fast, taking all the experience, shooting a 300 damage nuke at one person, and then running in circles. Oracles decrease base HP, thank the god. I mean, oh, I don't know why Oracles are soloing yeah. me at level 3. That was a good change. Base XP reduced from 30, 34 to 24. Thank God, because if I miss my back, if someone stole my back camps, the game was over. This affects mid camps times two and back camps times one. Yeah, that's good. So mid, well, that actually really affects mid camps because that means they're really low on experience. That means that that's only 48 experience for mid camps. I don't know about that change. Because mid, I feel like mid camps should be, is the only thing that's neutral on the map outside of oracles. Am I wrong? Right, chat? Hey, Ellie, what's up? Oh, you only get more XP if you're not hugging someone. If you're but if you're if you are yeah if you're but hugging someone, which usually it's it's for the support. So like now supports are gonna be running around. I just look. Th this is my thing though. Th this is my thing. In 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 a MOBA, right? Why would you give? Why would you reward the team that's behind? Or, or I mean, it's not the reward the team is behind, but the lower, the lowest experienced player, which should be the support. Why are you rewarding him with experience? Because like I feel like now, like I, I don't know, the support you should be behind. Because if not, then you're, then, then you're doing pretty much what a solo laner does. You're just frontlining. That's why there's a there's a frontline, which is a solo laner, there's a support, which sits in the back and peels and or initiates, but like, isn't isn't so tanky. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's just I, I don't I don't like I don't like this XP change. I feel like the way it should be is if you kill someone, like imagine you're level 12, right? And you kill a level 16, like you help kill a level 16 jungler and or you solo him, which you probably not, but you help kill a level 16, then the experience reward is big. But just because you're behind. You're going to have an experience booster, like, just because you're sitting around your millionaire or whatnot. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it should be, it should be, the, it should be a reason you're rewarded, not, not, not just you're rewarded for being behind. That's my opinion. The Elder Harpy, that's, that's, uh, the Oracle change of HP was perfect. You needed to lower that. It was doing, it was way too tanky, um, which is good. 500 HP is good. So it, it's still, it's still pretty, not pretty hard to kill, but it's, it, it's killable at least. Um, oh, it seems like oracles yeah. are going to be the more, the more, it's going to be a more challenge now, you know, oracles, a lot of, I feel like sometimes aren't really challenges, just whoever's there will pick it up, you know what I mean? Um, there were not, uh, jungle buff changes will not carry uh, other game mode speed buff, so speed, decrease speed buff from 15% to 10%, dude, I'm not jungling anymore, I'm a mid laner now. <clears throat> decrease, okay, buff now applies an additional 2% speed on each jungle, okay, buff now applies additional stacks, 2% speed on each jungle camp kill, such as this, stacks up to three times, stacks last 15 seconds. So if you have speed buff and you kill a camp, slash assist the camp, you get t extra 2% speed. Meaning, meaning, if you kill, is it, alright, so if you kill blue backs, their back, you invade their backs, you have 16% speed. Which is a little bit more than normal speed. Meaning, oh, if you invade, yeah. then you can go over cap of speed. Which gives incentive to invade. 
That's okay, I guess. It's it's interesting. I like this. It's it's interesting. Here. Red buff decreased power from 20% to 10%. This power bonus increases from 10% to 15% when hitting enemy gods. Well, that that's too like when hitting enemy gods. What the hell does that mean? So if I hit someone, if I if I auto someone, my percent it it, it jumps up to 5 15%. What if I hit two people? What if I hit the whole team with a whirlpool? Am I at... Am I at... 35%? This is like too basic. For each enemy god... Uh, past the first... With the 50 enemies, all enemies... Then the area will lose an additional protection. Two protection per stack. Stacks of the four times examples. One enemy god, 10 pro, Two, five. If you pass them, so you just gotta walk by them. Interesting mechanic. 55 units. This is all interesting buffs. I mean, the cool things about these buffs is there's more intricate things. So now, you, now like, I feel like Smite's a little bit more intricate when it comes to the buffs. Like, now you could do more things. Now you could do things that other people, that you have to think actually think about. You know, it, it's subliminal. You have to think, okay, if I hit this many people my, with red buff on right now and I, I can double tap for an extra 100 damage or whatever you know what I mean there's little things that are more intricate and make it the game less you know it's more things you can do with it a player with more more IQ and experience when it comes to these things or is able to hold on to you know understand what's going on when you hit this many people or you have or you know know that you have three stacks of this and know that you can chase someone down just because you had 16% movement speed. You know what I mean? Things like that. That's interesting. That's really cool. Um, let me see. Okay, fix an issue. Thank you. All right, this, this looks. Anubis fix an issue. Okay, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Item bound. Wait, that's all they have for the characters? I thought you said there was like Naja and shit. I don't like any of the masks. Only the masks that I think. I don't like I don't like that there's this that there's you buy an item and then you lose something because you bought an item and I feel like MOBAs when you buy items is just to increase what you have not to have a negative effect on them even though Dota has some of those things but but it does bring a more intricate side to things you know oh I know I have Boomba's mask tier three so I know that I you know I take 20% more damage so if I see a mercury with this I know I can you know double tap him for X you know etc more damage you know pretty cool things those are the only things I like about it I don't like the items have negative effects to them but elixir of power elixir of power is no longer removed on death what while extra power is active, you deal 25% additional damage to structures. Duration from 300 to 360 seconds. Wow. That's interesting. What, did a price change? No? This is a defense that removes extra defense active to take 25% decrease damage from structures. Wow. Interesting. Like this change. Really like this change right here. Elixir, the Elixir change is good. Well, let me read over these items still. Soul Reaver, the passive Soul Reaver has been changed and has now has Ethereal style passive. Your abilities deal an addition of 2% of the target toxin health. The magic damage of the target has over 2,000 health. Your ability bonus and scales up is effective reduced 8% at 27. Interesting. No Soul Reaver. <laughs> kind of hurts mages. It sense the passive. Yo. Oh, now I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yeah. Alright, word. Let me know when you want to queue up. Uh, every damage an enemy god, you steal 8% maximum mana as well as 4% maximum from the target. What? The stats remain stolen for 45 seconds. The target's affected can multiple buffs and debuffs at once. It's gonna occur. The stats remain stolen for 45 seconds. You steal health and mana. So if you hit a tank, if you hit a guardian with a spell, you take 8% maximum health. A 4% maximum health. That's that's interesting. You you get tanky as what are the stats on this though? Oh, it's just a passive. So you get mad HP, you get CCR. And now it's just more defensive. Like, I don't who gives a fuck about, about the mana. Either way, you're going to have tons of mana as a mage regardless or mana region. The only important part is the 4% maximum health. 
You take 4% from... What is 4% of 3? So you hit a couple people with it? I'm confused. You could have this. You could, Can you do this to 5 people? Can you, if you hit a whirlpool on 5 people, could you steal 4% of 5 people's ma maximum health to you? You hold oh, you hold on to this for 45 seconds? And then you could redo it before it's out? What's up, Motto? How you doing? What's up, Wraith? Bookathoth. Increase cost. Okay. It's a pretty big increase. Increase magical power from 180. Okay. Less of an item. Increase mana from 125 to 50, so it stacks more. Increase mana conversion from 3%. Increase mana conversion from 3% to 5 is only lost. Okay, so more expensive. I don't know the math. I'm assuming it does more damage when it's fully stacked. But the flat damage, so like when it evolves, it does more damage, but the flat damage you get from the early part of it isn't wor isn't isn't as much. So like imagine you get Bigathoth early, you try to go for a fight, it's not going to be as effective. Uh, you take your time and farm, it, it becomes, it does a lot more damage. Farm. Wait a second, so then Book of Thoth, Ethereal Staff. Book of Thoth, Ethereal Staff, you take 8% of someone's mana, like a mage. It gives you 5% more damage on the, ma on the mana you stole. You hold on to it for 45 seconds. Could be useful. 120. 120 health, about 8% of, 8% of 1200, 8% 8 of 1500. Decreased mana from 175 to 100, that's good, because I hate I hated people having this item. Is the reason I feel like Warlock was just picked up was because it gave you mana and health, it didn't matter, it didn't matter, like Book of Thought gave you a little bit more damage, but in reality, you don't need that extra 20 damage when you have unlimited mana Unlimited and a ton of health, and you have you only have 20 power less. The health is more important than the extra 20 power. But now that you cut the mana, now you have to make a decision: Do you want health, a little bit less power, or do you want a bunch of mana and power? Good change. Typhon's Fang reduce magical power from 100 to 80. More useless than it already is because everybody wants fucking counter healing. Increase bo bonus magical damage from your life so total counter equal to the amount. Ooh, okay, better passive. I like it. I like that they're, they're reducing straight flat stats and making the passive more in, uh, intrigued. Increased 2400, 2500. A good change. A spike item. Make it more expensive. Increased MP5 from 20 to 15. Decent change. They give you a lot of mana. Decreased magical power from 100 to 90. Good. Didn't need to have 100 power when you use it for cooldown. 100 power was the extra part of it. 10 power. Does it really change much? I mean, a little bit. Decrease, is cr decrease MP5 from 25 to 20. Good change. You will have unlimited banner when you have Chronos Planet. Let's be real. Um, uh, the bonus they right now increase healing from abilities. Still not by potions, life steal, or health star. I was like fire giant. Wow, that's actually a bug. That means Rod of Asclepius was fucking broken because if you get that as you spike with fire, the fire giant heals insane. I actually didn't know that. That was a bug. That I think that they didn't they didn't have that intended in the game. I don't think so. I think that was a bug, and they realized it. They fixed it and made it try to you know cover it up by being like, oh, we do it. Ani's hunter is a great item, but I never really use it. Increased damage mitigation per stack two percent and three percent. Okay, I don't even care about this item. I probably should read it, but fuck it. If I was playing competitive, I'd read more. Increase cost from 200, alright, so 50 extra gold, what do you do? Yo, what's good? I can't hear you. I mean, I did hear you, like, before, but not anymore. That's cool. Increase attack speed from 20% to 30%, makes it a valuable item now. Could, now it could be used in certain aspects. Still, might need a little bit more of a buff, but we'll see with 10% extra attack speed if it does anything. Increased attack speed, yes. Now it's reliable. Now it's worth getting, not just because of the counter. Decreased cost from 2600 to 2500. Interesting. I mean, it was an expensive item, but I think it was worth the expensive, how expensive it was. I don't know about this change. Makes it even a better item now. Decreased damage reduction for 20%. Thank the fucking lord, this piece of shit broken item. Shouldn't even slow as much as it does. Should be 10%. 
It should leave damage reduction to be at 20, uh, 15 percent, and slow to be at 10 percent. Shit should not be slowing you at 15 percent. Broken ass item. Decreased uh, from 2800 to 2700. Good change. Too expensive. It was too expensive before. Facts. Great item though, but too expensive. Increased bonus damage taken from crits, 50%, 60%. Does that make it valuable? I don't know. I don't think so. Especially with all the crits being taken away from all these passives. Not sure if it makes it any good. Warrior's Blessing, decrease health from 100 to 75. Decrease heal and mana restore. Thank the Lord, this shit was broken. You put pick that up in any roll, you become vulnerable for like the first five minutes. Decrease heal and mana restore from 40 to 30. It's okay. I think this is a bigger change right here. Shifter shield decrease cost 2400, 2400. Um, makes it a little bit better of an item early game, but I feel like pen is too good. Pen is too good early. Maybe if they made it 2300. Uh, Sundering spear reduce cooldown from 140, 110. Still maybe valuable now. I don't know. I have to try it. Freya, it's a lot of reading. What up, Clad? I'm sorry, chat. I'm just gonna do like a little thing for YouTube, you know, just like go over this stuff and throw it up on YouTube. Um, Blessing has been reworked to Myst reworked to Mystic Warrior. Freya's melee basic attack restores six six percent of her mana per successful hit. Freya's range of attack abilities are two percent of her missing HP or successful one shot. What was your thing before? I wish I knew what it was before, so I, I could remember, so I could compare. But two percent of HP missing. That's okay. I mean. The most you could probably get out is like five, six shots. So that means ten percent of her health. Ten, twelve percent, twelve percent being a, on a good, good fight. Actually, it depends. I don't know. Like maybe a lane doesn't help that much, but in a team fight it could help a lot. Two percent range basic attacks. Let me think about a, a normal, a normal team fight. One, two, three, four. Tinga, 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 tinga. It could be good. It could be good. Maybe with Bancrofts too, and make it, make it pretty insane. I just don't remember what it was, but I like this part of the mana region because her mana is always really bad. So this could help her early game, make it really good. Northern Lights, here it is. Been working on line. Uh, damage seventy one magical power slow, twenty five percent cooldown. Not sure what the changes were here, so I don't know, but it looks good. I'm gonna try Naja. Yeah, we're gonna win. Holy shit, is my game loud? Or, or what's up here, chat? Or a blade, Baka Serum, no longer Okay, okay, Humbas, directional movement penalties. Oh, it's no longer affected by directional movement during the blade firing? Okay, that's pretty important. Cannot be deployed in walls, reducing the, the change of it. Failing to fire because it's clipping a wall. Ooh, that's interesting. It's good. Ravana, get buffs to the ground, you piece of shit character. Thank you. Increase physical power, what the fuck? 3% movement speed, what the hell? At least no shield, but still 3% movement speed. Decrease cooldown? Are you kidding me? Why are you buffing this character? I don't care about his base stats. I care what is his abilities? Decrease cooldown. Let me see the base stat change. 450 to 400. Oh, bro. Okay. Oh, what the hell? They made him into an assassin? Lol. Decrease HP 5 from 7 to 8. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I, I agree with this. Maybe he's an assassin stats. Okay. I like. I like. I just see this. Ubis, mana cost decrease. Mana cost decrease. Nobody cares. Um. I mean, it helps him when he gets Bancrofts and a bunch of life steal instead of you know, mana, hysteria, uh, whatever, let's go, let's get some fun.